In behind all of this junk piled on top of it is my 1991 Honda Fortrax 300. Now this thing has been sitting there for four years. It ran when I put it away and it just so happened at the time, you know, didn't have space for it in the garage anymore. It got moved to the portable garage and that's where it's been sitting. So my plan today is to get a booster pack, put some air in the tires, see if it'll start, get it into the garage and over the winter I'd like to do some kind of restoration to it maybe. So this is it right here. 1991 Honda Fortrax. And it has been sitting in here, like I said, for about four years. I got a plow for this thing and everything. Looks like there's still some air in some of the tires. Here's the plan. Get all this stuff moved, uh, get it cleaned off, put the booster pack on it, check the fluids quickly and see if we can get it started and put some air in the tires and get it into the garage. All right, so we've got it somewhat uncovered and I noticed everything is there. I was wondering where this had gone. Let's get some air in the tires and uh, I don't even remember if it has a battery in it or not. It does have a, oh boy, it does have a battery in it. That's not good. That's probably frozen and dead, but birds have been in here and mice. And... All right, so let's get some air into these tires. This one here needs air for sure. That one needs a bit of air. The other side, that one looks okay for now. And over there maybe, all right. Okay, we got some air in the tires and we're just going to check the oil level on the other side. Right here, I believe. Now, if I remember, it did leak oil. All right, we got lots of oil, so we're good there. All right, and luckily it has the key in it. And yeah, nothing, of course. Oh, we got it. Run. Oh, the choke works. I thought the choke cable was stuck. Apparently not. It's working. All right. So, fuel. Oh, I was smart. I put the fuel off. Well, that was pretty intelligent of me. Very unlike me, actually. <laughs> So there is fuel in the tank. Hopefully that's getting into the carb. Uh, I'm just gonna try and boost it first. This battery might be too dead to even take a, a boost. Let's give that a shot. Honda for you right there. Look at this. Turn the choke down a bit. It even idles.
right, let's see if the brakes are seized on it, see if we can back it out of here and uh, hopefully I don't stall it. Well, if I stall it, I can always kickstart it now. All right, let's do this. Right, so how about that four years sitting there oh, it stinks four years sitting there started right up sitting there idling probably four or five year old fuel inside and there it is running that's Honda for you so now I think what my plan is like I said is I'm gonna bring this into the garage for the winter uh, start disassembling it the engine needs resealing all that kinds of stuff probably needs brakes all around some cables like to find some plastics for it you know rejuvenate it maybe strip it down to the frame i don't know i mean you guys tell me do you want to see something done with this or do i just change the oil and run it the way it is would be handy for hunting we have the side by side but the, the kids could use this thing so uh, i think i got to do lights on it and stuff as well but let me know what you guys think honda four tracks 300 1991 started sitting here buried in the ground well, not buried in the ground, but sitting there a really long time. And she started. Let me know what you think. So there you go, four tracks is in the garage. First thing we're gonna need to do, first order of business, get a battery for it so we can work on it a little bit. So I got it up on the stands. This is where it's gonna sleep for the winter. While I hopefully work on it, I'm hoping. Uh, then again, I might just do a quick fluid change so that we can use it for the remainder of the bird hunting season. And uh, thanks for watching.